The fucking like <laughs> I just I just cannot keep catching L's, bro. It's it's terrible. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Winston's Master Duel Roundtable. I am just now realizing that my dumbass had my mic muted for the first sixteen minutes of recording. Therefore, we will be doing today's <laughs> format a little bit differently. We are going to be doing playing where we left off. And then eventually everybody else is going to leave and I'm going to do the news like normal. And unfortunately, because of my uh, incongruities, you will not be hearing other people's comments, but I will at least try to keep the vibe alive. So, Mari, tell me, you've been picking up ice barriers? Yes, we are an ice barrier player now. Lancea is lit. The fact that you can summon from deck twice in a turn is crazy. Yeah. Like, I've been. I've actually been doing pretty well in ranked compared to, say, my Dark Magicians or my Cyber Dragons. They've been getting wiped, but, like, the Ice yeah. Barriers, they're, they're kind of holding their own a little bit. Like, I'm not going to reach Diamond anytime soon, but, you know, I'm if getting some Ws. If you're interested in refactoring your Cydras a little bit, Rank 10 YGO just put out a new YouTube video when there are cards that are technically Cyber Dragon support that I didn't even fucking know existed. Ooh, send me a link to that, please. Uh, it, it, is in, it, it, you, though, it, it is in the it it is in the it is in the Yu Gi Oh chat in the server. All right, I'm but, uh, taking a look at that. All but right. yes, uh, Digi, have you uh, or not Digi? Nero, Digi, Nero's Nero, Nero uh, uh, Mari. I know that everybody in your and mine in the server that you invited me to for Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Mari, are fucking mauling over your ice bears, but for the group, are there any duels that stood out to you this week that you enjoyed? None I'll take this that. Week, I'll but... take that. I'll, I'll take the, I'll take the <laughs> silence as a no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, not, not, not really. I mean, yeah, no. Nah. Uh, I had a surprisingly back and forth match with a uh, snake eye. Uh, I'm, I meant, by the way, yes, now is a great time for Nerlis for you to tell us about your escapades at your reg local, uh, your regional. Oh yeah, uh, I did end up going to a regional qualifier about uh, what, what, what was that? Two weeks ago now, three weeks? I don't, I, I don't know. My sense of time is dog shit. I think it was uh, I went four and five, so I didn't get an invite, but I mean, hey, I, I did better than I thought I did. Uh, pulled up with Brandon Despia, bricked more often than I'd like to admit, uh, but I ended up pulling, or not pulling, uh, snagging a, a lot of cards that I needed to improve the deck, uh, including that second copy of Quem for like 20 bucks. Shout out to the vendors. Um, Let's go. So, uh, I mean, yeah, I'm, like, pretty chill now. The recent hit on uh, Brenda Despia from the ban list did shatter my heart. But, I mean, like, it was going to happen eventually. Yeah. Mm. Did, uh, and, the uh, new... it, did the... It is now 100% confirmed. Uh, my mortal enemy in this fucking card game is Fiend Smith Ubel. <laughs> Hate that shit. Yeah, I, I will say that Ubel ha is the one deck that keeps giving me consistent issues as a voiceless voice player. Uh, it, it it has that has been the one that has been a big issue. But speaking yeah. before before I transition over to the ban list, let me just give the quick cliff notes on the dumb shit I fucking forgot about real quick. Uh, the Ancient Gear stuff is coming. Ancient Gear statue basically replaces a, a good chunk of the scrap engine. Uh, most of this stuff, mo most of this stuff, yeah, cheese. Like, but like the the new continuous trap spell it uh, allows you to cheese out uh, ancient gear golem a lot easier. With, like you can normal summon without attributing. Uh, all of these cards um, ha uh, can you know have effects on searching that say ancient search ancient gear golem or a card that mentions it, which is basically all of them. Ancient gear dragons only hope at getting cheesed out is the ancient gear statue. And if I'm being perfectly honest, they are better. Like you, it's better to use Ancient Gear Statue's effect to tribute it to Special Summon one Ancient Gear Golem or one Monster Dimensions from your hand or deck except Ancient Gear Statue, ignoring its summoning conditions, even the, it, it, on anything else to kind of get your combo started. Because that the fact that they put cannot be Special Summoned on Ancient Gear Dragon is a fucking war crime. But that's just me. Uh, the, tra the trap's kind of mid... Ancient Gear Commander is 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 basically useful for being able to get Ancient Gear Golem into into uh the into the graveyard to special sub to base to do a double summon. 
and ancient gear tanker is basically a it basically allows you to special summon ancient gear monster on your hand on a hand on it's basically a sakitama aritama type of bullshit so i wouldn't worry i wouldn't fuss about it ancient gear cards i also yesterday indigo silver eyes dragon was released a level eight light dragon exceeds monster of four thousand attack and zero defense it requires two level eight dragon monsters it is basically screaming for you to play it in blue eyes only one of the effects is really worth a damn in regards to that, which is it negates all face up effect, all cards, the effects of all face up cards your opponent currently controls on XC summon. Um, and the other two effects are cannot attack directly if, unless it has a normal monster as material, and you can detach a material from this card, target one normal monster in your graveyard or banish zone, special summon it, and if you do, it gains 4th at 4k attack. If your opponent genuinely break to high hell, you could use this for purposes of I don't know getting getting an 8k wipe immediately but there's just better things you could be doing with two level 8s on field and blue eyes and that's just me and that brings us to the elephant in the room I did not mention or we in that we did not talk about which was dur, 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 the TCG ban list which came oh, out uh day before yesterday I believe with and, and, and it was some people say it was heat. Some people say it was a nothing burger. I think the consensus a couple days in has been kind of uh, a nothing burger for the time being. Um, yep. uh, mm. Fiendsmith Lacrima is now put to uh, is now is forbidden. Uh, that was probably no more time not bullshit. Let's go. Yeah, that that. Oh man, Fiendsmith Lacrima was not the Fiendsmith. I don't know how the Fiendsmith engine works, but. You know, knowing Konami and how they, you know, the fact that Fiend Smith is so new, I just know for a fact that they hit, did not hit any of the problem cards that needed to be hit in Fiend Smith. Apple also also got banned. That that card that's too generic and probably had it coming, but yeah, God knows. I think that's yeah. our last like non archetypal Omni Negate that's like finally gone. Yeah, let's hope they leave access code alone that now. Uh, hot red oh, dragon uh, archfiend, king, hot red dragon archfiend king calamity. So remind me, what does it? What does that do again? I know oh, it's yeah, like Nara a... Bozo the clown. What does it do? <laughs> it's a turn skip. Oh, it's a turn. Oh, it's fuck much, you! Uh, you summon it. It like you summon it. You activate its effect. Can't be responded to, by the way. Uh, your opponent cannot activate uh, any cards or effects for the entirety of that turn, or summon monsters. I'm pretty sure. Oh, so it's just so it's just Centurion bullshit. Yeah, that's oh exactly boy. it. Actually, it is specifically Centurion bullshit. Uh, Beatrice should have been banned a very long time ago, and and the fact that it took her until the year of our Lord twenty twenty three to get banned is insane to me. All right, moving on to moving on to limits. Uh, Eva's to one, especially seeing some of the new Drytron support coming out. Uh, 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 ritual dry, uh, uh, fairy dry tron bullshit is back, baby. Also, pop, also, Ash and Poplar are at one. This doesn't necessarily, it, it, it does, the only thing it does is, is it makes, uh, pop, it makes, you know, drawing Poplar an actual, like, fucking liability to, like, it's it's a Poplar from, like, the craziest starter the deck has, aside from Snash, into a Garnet. And that's yeah. literally all it does. Yeah, the, the deck still has plenty of room for non-engine issues, and bonfire means that there's four fucking poplar in the deck anyway, so who gives a shit? So, uh, gimmick puppet, uh, number forty and number C forty gimmick puppet of strings, both are both have been limited. See, I thought that would stop the FTK. Uh, it doesn't. This hurts you explicitly with Brandon Fusion to one. I know, man. Why didn't they hit Sanctifier? Brandon Fusion's not the problem. It's Sanctifier. I mean, it, I mean, I'm, I, I mean, I, I am forever salty at this hit. Like Jesus, wrong card, Konami. You fucking missed again. Yeah. Opening of the Spirit Gates. This isn't gonna do anything to you, Bell. I'm sorry. Yep. It's just you, you, you. Opening of the Spirit Gates isn't it, like. What you need to do is you need to fucking limit the fucking fusion monster. You need to limit or Phantom. Yeah, Phantom yeah. is what is what they need to. The fact that you can summon multiple of that card in the same turn is really dumb. 
They should do it. You know, I wish Konami would start doing emergency erratas. That'd be pretty cool. But uh, I think I think I think if I think if they did emergency erratas, um, I think if they did emergency erratas, I think that would probably do more to um. I feel like that would like do more to like you know make make certain like here's the thing like elf getting banned could have been solved with an emergency rata saying that hey it takes two it takes two monsters including a sprite that would have literally solved everything instead of it being like just any two level two or link to rank two whatever the hell yeah exactly <laughs> uh uh pot of cross is uh down to one which you know whatever you consistency hit it's whatever Yes, we've been, we've been having we only have one of them in Master Duel. It literally does nothing to change. It's, it's you know it's whatever. Uh, Sand Gen Summoning to one. This I had opinions on. I made in my uh, like Bandless React initial reactions video. Um, Sand Gen Summoning is literally like the linchpin on whether or not uh, um, Tempai is able to fucking run. Um, it is quite literally the heart and soul of the deck. Like if now they have to search song gun summoning, so you can like negate the Pydra or like the whatever spell card searcher. I, and I you'll, th- you're probably fine. I think instead of it, just like, it, it, all right, I'm going to know some Pydra. I'll negate it. Okay. Activate song gun summoning. It is a, the problem is, is that song gun summoning is now like the fucking choke point. You know, anybody who knows, like, who's experienced with Tenpai at all, like, is just going to wait for Sangin summoning to, to, like, do, to, like, their pop, their ghost ogre effect or some shit. Like, not ghost ogre, but just, like, you know what I mean. Like, that, yeah, like, yeah. they're, they're going to be, that's what the hate's going to be waiting on. Um, like, your cosmics, your other quick play back row removal, things of the sort. Yeah. Uh, grass looks greener is to one. See, I was initially scared of this hit. But now so. I just don't give a fuck because hey, it supports branded baby. Here's the thing about the grass looks greener: like every deck that's worth a damn has access to like great crazy graveyard effects now, and all and like, but even then, like having being able to like dump ten monsters and having like five of their effects go off isn't enough to like necessarily win now. Also higher ratio number deck like running a strict 40 card deck is like kind of becoming less popular especially at a higher level um especially like you know for like ritual files and stuff like that so i i think i think this card is uh not gonna be it's it's gonna be powerful for sure but i don't think it's going to be the you know i think it'll be a brick more than it would have been in the past personally plus you have to build a deck you have to build a 60 card deck for it and building a sixty card deck, just be, just for a one off grass looks greener, is not going. The only people that were going to run this card were going to be people that were running a sixty card deck in the first place. And that, I don't know how that's going is to branded in specific. It's just branded. This is like, just branded playing, support. Play, they, playing sixty card branded was the strongest way and the more optimal way to play it, at least in my opinion, since the release of uh, Guiding Quem the Virtuous. And, the and fact now that the it, grass is legal, it's just like if you open fucking branded in white and grass looks greener, that's pretty much just branded fusion. Yeah, like and they had to get they had to throw a bone to y'all because they put branded fusion to one. So I'm not I'm like, yeah, that is what it is. I mean, like it's like branded fusion to one still hurts, but God having grass back is nice. Yeah. Into the quarantine zone of semi limited. Uh, all of the dragon rulers are back into set are 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 up to two. This does literally nothing. I don't think they. I don't think the dragon rulers. I I think Dragon Link might experiment with it a little bit, but I don't think the dragon rulers are really going to like be doing anything too fucking crazy. They're not that it like they're not there. There are better fucking resource loops today. That is true. But I mean, hey, dragon rulers, they're cool, man. Eve the World Chalice is back, Halk is banned, so it can come back, it's fine. Um Yeah, it is nothing on its own in all Col- honesty. Col- Colossus is like kinda what Thunder Drag needed to like have a shot in hell. But just it was keep our- it at two. I, I yes. feel like having it at two is fine, but three is too many. 
I, I, yeah, I don't know. It's like it's just I think I think two is perfectly enough to like if your opponent was able is able to get over two of your colossuses, you didn't have a chance in the first place. And mm -hmm. our and our unlimits Armageddon Knight uh, is unlimited now, which is fine. Well, I guess players rejoice. Yeah, but oh you know. boy, yeah. Like I, I think Armageddon Knight is fine. Like I I you know I think didn't they ban um. I sold so like you know the yeah I sold banned so I sold send four into Arma Knight does nothing anymore yeah just having it at three is like whatever yeah it's just it's just good it's like it's like a it's like who cares uh Magic Specter Unicorn Kieran I don't know why this card was an issue but you know I guess obviously they don't because I didn't play during that format back when it was a like, yeah it, it was an issue like when it first came out but now it's been power crept to shit and like yeah. e even the link doesn't fix it so. Yeah. So honestly, if it if if it, it yeah, that's fair. Uh, before a mage plush fire red rose dragon all ancient all red of these dragon. all of these cards are like put there because of like other offenders and stuff. Those are gone now. Uh, AFD AFD got eroded, so there's no reason for it to be limited. Um, it also it's, it's field spell effect only is a, is a hard one's return, so. Yeah, Someone's also hard to return. I'm pretty sure. So I mean, yeah, it's AFD's fine to come off the list now with the errata. There's better worms. Den long as I, like, like fucking Matt. Nothing now. Ma Ma Master Duel has shown that a lot of these cards being legal means nothing. Uh, yep. also, I also, what I don't know, what the fuck does time seal even do? Hold on, that time uh, seals like to your opponent's next draw phase. So. It's like a labyrinth tech where, like, if your opponent's on no cards in hand and you don't want them to top deck into the nuts, uh, you just set time seal and flip it up. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Like, other than that, though, the cards shit. It, it it doesn't do enough in this format to even justify playing one of it as like a hypothetical labyrinth tech card. Yes. Uh, skill drain got thrown to one, which does nothing. Oh, Finally, wait, no. good fucking riddance. That card should never have come off the list. I will say it. I hate skill drain. Yeah, it's like it's like that teak boo anti spell rivalry fucking imperial order, like all that shit. Like, yep. all, like honest, of, like specifically I O and skill drain in my opinion. The other ones are like whatever because most decks, especially in modern day, they can play around them with relative ease. Well, also for me playing like I I I would literally if I was literally going to fucking matches and shit or if Master Duel had um. Side decking, I would keep three royal decree in that bitch just for fucking lab. Yep. All right. But yeah, that is the forbidden and limited list for that is the banned list that people were were posting pictures of a uh, ruinic magispector or whatever the fuck it was like photoshopped to be that horse vomiting in the in the middle of a Seven Eleven. So someone please explain what? the vomiting horse yeah. to me. Like I don't understand. I, I was don't... seeing it everywhere. It's just people molding over the fact that Konami said, hey, the ban list is going to be dropping in September, but we never said when. And then they and then right. they dropped and then they dropped it over Zayn Malik being the fucking shadow duelist and shit. Yep. What? Yeah, the Wait, Zane Mac Zane Duel Malik shadow duelist. From, from, yeah, Zayn from... Malik from One Direction, that guy. He plays Yu-Gi-Oh, apparently. You know, I mean, hey, like one of our Olympians was a fuck, like, like was a fuck, played fucking Yu Gi Oh. So Noah Lyles, my fucking goat. Oh, yeah. Did fucking... he just had his fucking world like flipped upside down? Yeah. It's... Hey, listen, I don't think I don't think it's a I I do not think that's a bad thing though. Having fucking Zayn Malik be the goddamn shadow duelist, like, who cares, you know? Like, like hey, I never cared. I just showed up, and I'm just like, "Yo, Konami's been hyping the fuck out of this guy. Who is it?" Well, to be here's and the then thing. I, I I scrolled down and read the description. It's just like, "Hey, the ban list drops on the 31st," and I'm just like, "It's about time." Yeah. Yeah. Like honestly, like. Oh, uh, quick, quick deta detour. Uh, here's uh. Rank ten YGO, like well, he he was rolling for raid raptors and he got six white aura dolphins in, six in one white go. Aura dolphin. That's so funny. Oh man. Man, I hope I'm pulling Rising Rebellion from this pack, the pack in question, and it's like the fucking Dolphin. 
Yeah. So. Dolphin. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it seems like from what I heard, like Zayn Malik, like he isn't like you know he wasn't just paid a boatload of money to pretend to carry. Like he actually fucking plays. Do we know what his main deck is? I actually, that's actually a good question. I think he mentioned that he's an old head, so he plays like. I, but he, I, I he, remember hearing, he specifically like, meant sync. He specifically said synchros, and like he was playing like like newer blue eyes, like with like like the white spirit spirit dragon and shit, not like dual yes, like plays, DM. Yeah, Which, he plays like the uh the the modern version of blue eyes with like the new stuff from the structure. It's like pretty all right. I mean, because you can yeah, like, you can make pink cow with it, and well, you could. And then a, a, a reminder to everybody that uh just that like. He he is when he said he like he liked like the five D synchro era type of stuff. He is an old an old head Yu Gi Oh five Ds. I want to remind everybody that this shit came out in two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. Back when back back when half our back when our parents still owned their homes. Yep. Yeah. So 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 that was a reminder to everybody. Over fifteen years ago, man, we we are old. So the, the, we, the, we that are. is so that it was not wrong for him. To, I know that when people say, "Oh, I'm an old head," I play old, I'm like an old head Yu Gi Oh player. Like people think DM, nah, that's five Ds, bruh. Nah, five Ds, dog. Yeah. Hmm. And it but... sucks because five Ds is like one of my top favorite, like eras of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm just like, I was two at the time that shit came out. Right? Gets to that shit on a rerun. Going fast oh, yeah. makes me feel alive. Oh, and all this, and all this shit. But anyways, um, any, uh, am I uh, forgetting anything? Is there anything else that I should uh, bring up intermittently before we wrap up for tonight's episode? I mean, Digi's got they're his pack. Nice. That's right, yeah, Digi, still... your pack. Yes. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you for reminding me. All right, Precisely. Digi, let us know I've what you got. Waiting for this moment. Waiting. Oh, uh, right. Uh, as I wait desperately for your right. hand cam. <laughs> oh, you got a yeah, hand do, cam now, Digi? I still do need one. I still need one. I have it on the wow. throne. I have it on my throne, and like I'm hoping to get some donors for it. However. That, that... I, I was can... notified by my roommates that my rent has now dropped from 700 each paycheck to 400 each paycheck. So at that point, oh, I probably what? won't need people to, to 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 help contribute it, and I'd be able to afford it myself. That's genuinely fucking awesome. Like, what? Mm -hmm. Like, I can finally start affording shit again. So I could probably get myself another Infinite Forbidden Box as well as the Retro deck because, like, I, I, I took another look through my Retro deck. Well, not, like, a deck, but, like, the packs I got. I got a lot more iconic cards than I previously suspected. And I was and thinking, I hell yeah, I can... Hell yeah, I can get more Retro stuff. But enough about the Retro. Let's move on to Infinite Forbidden. All right, first Star pack. Light first and pack. Star Light and Gravery. Oh boy, another Fiendsmith sequence. Again, I keep forgetting that one Fiendsmith card you keep telling me to look out for. Uh, Requiem. It's the Link one, down arrow. Looks like a coffin. Requiem? Yeah. Oh, I already got that one, but it was another one that High Media brought up. Oh, it might have been uh, the uh, Engraver then. Yeah, it was Engraver. What? The... Yeah, Engraver, level okay. 6 light uh, main deck guy. Okay. So uh, you pull the... him, it's like a hundred bucks a copy. Damn. Okay, so the first highlight of the first pack is a spell card by the name of Fiend Smith's Tract. Yo, Tract is a good card too. Oh. And, yeah, and the, how, uh, how good is it? Uh, I don't know off sheer memory how much it's worth, but I have TCG Player open. Uh, okay. Uh, about ten bucks. Ooh. Yeah, track Alrighty is like one of the big then. starters of the Fiendsmith engine. So, yeah, makes sense. All right, sounds good. Now, on to the next pack. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, the highlight of this pack is another spell card aptly named Spell Card Monster Reborn. 
Let's I go. assume it has the exact same effect of the regular Monster Reborn that I got with the Retro deck. But it's also a quickie! It is. Oh, oh it damn. Is, it is a quick play spell, and uh, it, 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 like, it can't activate its effects, and it can't attack. So it's Monster Reborn, but it's a quickie, and it's shit. That's it. <laughs> oh, so it's a shitty version of Monster Reborn. Okay. Mental note, never use that in battle. I mean, like, it, it it could save your life, though. It's not worth it. Okay. Now, let's see. I mean, I mean, I, the only of... thing I can think it's good for is, like, yoinking some shit your opponent targeted in their graveyard. Like, yeah. <laughs> e either that or, like, you fucking summon back Gamma Seal the Kaiju and just wall up. Oh, damn. All right. Now on to pack three. The highlight of this pack is an earth monster by the name of Mimi Ghoul Cerberus with an attack Mimigool. power of 400 and defense power of 1,800. Sounds like a good defender, and I definitely wouldn't use that to attack because only 400 attack points really can't do too much. But well, then again, uh, it's you'll like... be attacking with it. It's a flip monster. Yeah, true, true. But then again, it's it's not exactly the card's attack and defense that matter, but how you use its effects that make all the difference. Yes, sir. And now, final pack of the night. Drum roll, uh, please. Ooh. Rece Recelia Sinister Soul of the White Forest. Ooh, hold up, spell that for me? Is that, is, is that it, the good one? R C I E L A, R C L. Oh, that, that, that's not the good one. That's the synchro. Damn it. Ah. Yeah, tears. But I mean, hey, White Forest, all in all, is a very funny deck in my opinion. Mm, yeah, true. I it's guess. A very, very funny synchro strategy. Uh, but hey, if you, what is it? It's like Estella or something like that. I don't remember. I think it is. Yeah. I'm not uh, too sure. Stellar, the the level two, the one of the level two main deck guys. Uh, you pull that, hit me up. I'll pay you a thirty for it. Oh damn, it's, a thirty. It, All right. it, it is a very strong card and branded, and I kind of need it. Hmm. I'll 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 see if I pull it in the next two infinite forbidden boxes. Because. Because surprisingly enough, at work, we, we we only have two Infinite Forbidden left. The rest of them are retro. So yeah, that 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 kind of that kind of makes sense. Yeah. So I have two more chances to get Fiendsmith Engraver and the other card you were just talking about. And if I fail to get those cards, I am going to cry. And it is embarrassing to hear a VTuber cry. Well, I'd say out with the old and with the new, but with the retro packs, it's more like out with the old and with the older. Yeah. But yeah, I do like the retro cards. Because, like, I, I noticed I got a good deal of some of the cards that I've actually seen in action in the show. One of them being Elegant Egotist, another being Monster Reborn, Polymerization, and I actually got a Harpy Lady, too. Hmm. And, like, that's, and like that's just from my first retro pack. Like, imagine all of the other ones I could get when I, when I pay for the rest of them. Yo, pull a Blue Eyes one time. Oh, yeah. Definitely a Blue Eyes. <laughs> then I could have a fourth one because I got the legendary decks too, where I've got Yugi, Kaiba, and Joey's decks. And now I am virtually unbeatable, but also still very beatable because I have absolutely no idea how to use their effects in any proper way, shape, or form. Because, like, point. I'm. I in in Master Duel and Evan can attest to this. I just press buttons and hope shit works. The best way to do it. Hmm. Okay. You, you, so you, I am you, tired. My bad. You're good. 
Hey, you're fine. You're fine, man. But like you, you've observed my actions in Duel, so you can confirm that all I do is just press buttons and hope shit works. Yeah. I mean, hey, that's how everybody learns what a deck does. Like I picked up Voiceless Voice <laughs> not too long ago because I was trying to do my Master Duel proficiencies and I need a Ritual deck. So I'm just like, hey, I one mean, of my, uh, one of the guys in my local bad. plays Voiceless Voice. So why not pick up the deck? Oh, it's yeah. a cool uh, Duel Monsters era retrains. It's kind of cool, but all, all I did like for the first couple games against my friends was just push buttons, and I somehow beat Tenpai twice. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, oh, yeah. no, no shade to my boy, but how? Uh, Honestly, real, that's very interesting. Real quickly, if I could do a quick tangent. Oh, we're yeah. let us briefly go into. Some quick Duel Links news. I know we do not care about it. I know people don't, but there's some people in the audience, specifically Blue, that wants to hear about it. And Fair that's how you made. And it's all. That's how and, you made it big. It is. So I have a moral obligation to my past in that, and also kind of mm -hmm. keeping track of how fucked the format is by looking at the new support that they get, i.e., the new pack coming out called Majestic Magic. Do you want to know how I can I can give you guys uh the UR I can give you guys the UR spread if in, in the UR and SR spread so you guys can kind of understand what we're dealing with here. Hit me. Hmm. How 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 badly am I never coming back to Duel Links ever a fucking again? Albaz is an SR. <gasps> I'm coming back to Duel Links. <laughs> all right, let's go through them all. <laughs> so starting with the URs, we have Wind Witch Ice Bell. Sky Striker uh, Ace Rose. Rose, about time. Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon. So we're getting more Gaia support, which <laughs> Gaia. Uh, Ecclesia. Specifically Ecclesia. the Dogmatica. Specifically the Dogmatica version. Better one. Uh, Titanoclad. Punishment. Leerless Bird Call. And yeah, Dark Magician, the Knight of Dragon Magic. Those are the URs. The Gaia Dark Magician fusion. Yep. Uh, so let me just fucking, fucking. All those these are all the dude. they are those are all URs or SRs. These are these are URs. So this these, those are the URs. URs. Oh, are the UR. A reminder that Dark uh, Dark Magician, the Knight of Dragon Magic, is Dark Magician plus one level seven or higher Dragon or Warrior monster. So either, so like you know you know the fucking I don't know what. Works and grip. Gaia. Uh, yeah, because just Gaia. Gaia's level. Uh, nah, yeah, kind of. If your monster attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. Gaia shit. If your opponent once per turn, when your opponent destroys a monster by battle, when when your monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, so it doesn't even have to be this one, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster's original attack. If this card Somebody is destroyed. Yeah, if, you, Sorry, if this card uh, if, if this card is destroyed, you can special summon both one Dark Magician and one Gaia the Dragon Champion from your hand deck, extra deck, or and or graveyard. That's the that that's it. That's that 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 is your U R. Let, let's remember that we that we have only that Dark Magician players only recently have started eating. There's a lot of slop that they have to get through before they can be feasible and. You know, Duel Links is behind. So, somebody pull up like the Gravity Falls meme. Just whoa, this is worthless, right? <laughs> <laughs> Briefly moving on to SRs, uh, we have Book of Eclipse. Whatever. Ooh, that's. Fun. Yep. Uh, that might be. That might be okay. In um. Actually, no. Yeah, because uh, maybe not. It's. I, it's I'm a, it, I'm a, I'm a, it's Duel Links in the air is different from when we played. Uh, Wind Witch Glass Bell. Again, whatever. Uh, again, I said again. Albaz. Uh, uh, oh boy. Domatica uh, uh, Fleur de Lis. Uh, Wind the Wind Char Wind the Wind Charmer. Uh, fucking Raging That's Storm true. Dragon Belfort the Ninth. It's a ritual dragon monster. Ah. Whatever. Uh, and Lyrilis, uh, Barrel Canary. I've saved two cards. I'm going to tell you what they are. Oh. Hmm. Time Thief, Winder, and Perpetu Perpetuia. Oh. No Redoer? I think Redoer's already in the game. 
Is it? We're just get yeah, I think we're getting just the time thief uh uh of support now. Huh. That's pretty yeah. funny. Yeah. Uh okay. in the in the R's there's some Magic Spectre cards, uh some more Wind Witch, some more Leolisks, uh some more Time Thief, a couple like bad dogmatica cards. Um and but uh yeah, sorry about that, folks. I had to pause real quick. Um yeah, as far as the normal cards are concerned, um, yeah, it's just great. Gradle, Gradle cards are in this bitch. Gradle, uh oh, in norm, but like only as three as far can I can see in the normal, like alligator, cobra, and eagle. Those are the only three Gradle guys, other than the the big synchro. Yeah, Odd. and truthfully, that's all you need because Gradle's really just there for cheese. Yeah, fair enough. They also like oh, if I remember yeah. correctly, Gradles also like lock you into their archetype like immediately too. Well, that's why you <laughs> just set it and hope your opponent punches into it. Yeah, makes sense. But yeah, these are the new uh, cards. Interesting enough for what they are, but yeah. I just oh, thought I had fucking go. And it's only yeah. an SR, and it's only an SR. It's only an SR, which is mind blowing. Which is, I mean, it's. I think the only, uh, uh, and you're probably only gonna want the one Titanic clad, anyways. Yeah, t- oh, Titanic clad is usually only ever a one of. Even when it got released in the structure, it was only ever just a one of. Yeah, so you basically, in theory, only have to go through this because, you know, unless this is one of the SRs where there's only one of them per pull. You only really have to go through the UR shit for that once. Although, if you're playing, if you're looking for uh, a more dog, if you're looking for Dogmatica, Ecclesia being a UR, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a pain. As is Punishment. That is also true. And Punishment's the good card, too. So, yeah. Yep, (laughs) that kind of blows. But I mean, hey. What can you do? And. So, uh, is there anything else I am forgetting? Uh, anything? Uh, uh, hmm. I think your boy Digi's got some. Go for it, Digi. I mean, I mean, nothing that you forgot, but like, I did want to. I I told the other two this before you got back. So, going back to what you said about me getting a hand cam, I already have an idea for my first ever hand cam stream. And I want each one of you to be able to attend that stream because the idea I have is to build a proper Yu-Gi-Oh deck to use to duel in official tournaments. Basically a combination of each and every Yu-Gi-Oh card from Legacy of Destruction, Infinite Forbidden, the Legendary decks, and possibly my very, very, very old cards from years ago. Along with the retro and the, uh, what deck was this one again? This was Crimson King. Like, basically a combination of each and every card from each one of those to make a proper dueling deck so I can wipe the floor with my opponents. You start going a little radical. And since you guys are all dueling experts, I wish for each one of you to be there. I mean... I, I, I question well, I my, my not, show. I question my knowledge as an expert. Char, you probably be a better person <laughs> for that. If I'm being perfectly fucking honest, hey, if he I says you're love, an expert, you're an expert. I would I, love for Char to be there too, because like you guys managed to get me back into Yu-Gi-Oh, and I'm like I'm and like I'm already investing this much money into getting more cards, so I <laughs> you might as well do need... something with it, right? Yeah, I might as well do something with it. Yep, fair <laughs> enough. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening to this episode of Winston's Master Duel Roundtable. I've been your host, and for my media TV, joined by the illustrious Digital War 800, 8,000, and 21st Digital Warrior Digi, my my our, our, my wonderful moderator, Nerlis, and the... I and... special summon these nuts! You sound, your voice did a thing where you sounded like like um crispy for a second yeah. uh and and lastly uh the the one the only and amazing red storm 29 kamari himself
Hey. My, my illustrious panelists, links to their channels can be found in the description down below, both on Twitch and YouTube. And uh, thank you all for listening, and I'm going to send you to pre-recorded Evan to give you the sales pitch. Toodaloo. Later! Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a, join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash Discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hibmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.